Hello and welcome to the Ibon Estates School for the Gifted, episode 13, Lucky Number. As always, there are content warnings in the description if they, uh, if we feel that they're necessary for something. And as always, you can uh, comment on the YouTube channel and we'll add content warnings to stuff that maybe we didn't think of. Uh, and as always, we start with a... Uh, in character question uh, which I always love asking I don't always come up with one sometimes it takes me a second but now I, I, I have come up with one so alright question for all of you what is your favorite pizza topping oh simple <laughs> simple and clean what is it you name pepperoni okay mm. but, but go ahead or chicken I don't know <laughs> That's Those a are wide such margin. different things. It's a very wide margin, Josh. Wide if you, if you say pepperoni, you could at least say like also uh, Italian sausage, and that kind of. Yeah, I don't like you sausage. There. Uh, th uh, uh, okay. I don't like Doc. Italian sausage. <laughs> Doc. I do. <laughs> You're out of character. <laughs> out of <laughs> character. In fuck. In character, Doc. Okay. Well, I'm with a big sausage every so often. Uh, God fucking damn it. What is your Favorite pizza topping? Um, you know, I've always been partial to barbecue chicken. Okay. Get the f here, Bro, so what? fucking weird. <laughs> my mom, my mom always made a good barbecue, barbecue chicken, chicken pizza. No, barbecue chicken's good. And you eat barbecue sauce? Yes, very much so. Also, Is Doc has no food allergies in Canada. There is, uh, yes. depends on the barbecue sauce for Chad. Oh, um, hey, wait, but... so this is your, this is your fantasy character. <laughs> Doc has been eating pizza and Chinese yes. food, so yes, you could argue that. Imagine just going to a eating restaurant and being able to just abandon. order anything and just fucking eat it. It's mind blowing. Anyway. The fucking concept. Oh, Raylan, <laughs> what is your favorite pizza, pizza dude? I just want a cheese pizza. Just a cheap little cheese pizza. Yeah, dude. All right. All right. And with that, <laughs> the date is October 9th. Meetings are always a time to celebrate. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. First, we are. Uh, I'm gonna skip the first note on my thing because it was involving a. Uh, Brendan is not here with us currently, and the first note involves doing a football game, so that's getting skipped. Uh, yes. uh, the weekend. Uh, when you guys wake up, uh, you wake up on Saturday. You wake up a bit later than you're used to. Uh. But you do, you know, wake up. Uh, who is the first... Out, which of the three of you is the first out the door, do you think? Because generally it'd probably be Frank, but... Which of the three of you is the first out the door? Also, thanks for the follow. The Zero Orphan. Yeah. Um... Doc likes to get to us a little early and then read, so probably me. Okay, yeah, definitely Doc. Yo, Zero follow? <laughs> It's my um, friend Zero. So, uh, Doc, you're the first out the door? I would say so, yes. So when you uh, start out the door, you see a note pinned to the inside of the door. Oh. That was not there the last night. I look at the note. Okay. Let me, uh, let me find a... I don't like the things you choose to do to entertain yourself. <laughs> um, the note says that you have been formally invited to see Headmaster Ibon in his office. Uh, Everyone uh, inside the dorm. Am, are, are we in trouble? Uh, Doc says to himself <laughs> upon reading the note. I look for... Um, I've been keeping the uh, key under my mattress. I am frantically looking for it. <laughs> and I frantically make sure that I have it under there. All you two have heard me say is, are we supposed to, or are we in trouble? They just fucking see it. Uh, they okay. just know. Uh, Raylan, you, the key is still under the mattress. All right, cool, I pocket it. Eugene, uh, what was your question? Where is the key? Uh, well, you don't Good know. Good luck you finding it, You can't bitch find boy. It. Uh, <laughs> uh, you <laughs> cannot find the key. Um... Uh -oh. All right. Uh, the note specifies 
that this oh. meeting is at your earliest convenience. Ha, um, ha, okay, lunch. What's up, Definitely what's up? <laughs> Doc, why'd you say we were in trouble? The key's fine. Uh, what? Oh, you have the key. Oh, okay. Why so... wouldn't I have the key? Because <laughs> I thought I had the key. I oh. actually also thought Eugene had the key. No, you guys didn't take it from me. I, I showed it to you guys, but nobody took it. I remember. <laughs> I was actually thinking while we were doing it, I can't believe nobody's taking this from me. Okay, I might have been a little zoned out. Um, do you want us to take it from the... you? No, I do not. I would like the key. Shock from you slashing okay. up your hand. It wasn't well, my yeah. fault. It was 100 per- what? <laughs> Did someone possess you to punch a window? Who can say? This place is weird. It's pretty weird. Okay, regardless, speaking of weird- What happened? all been, and Doc sort of does air quotes on this part, <laughs> invited to uh, visit Headmaster Ibon. Oh shit, you think I can time travel again? Oh, what he wants what? to see no, all don't of do us, that. Me, everyone in the dorm. So you, me, Frank, Eugene, yep. Oh uh, uh, yeah, well, let's go. Yeah, that's uh, that's <laughs> okay. Um, when... Wait, Frank's not here though. He's dead. What time is this? <laughs> we don't. Oh, we don't have time before class. I don't think. I mean, we're a little early. Um, it's Chad, like an hour Chad, class. it is the weekend currently. <laughs> oh, it's oh, the weekend. weekend. Oh, then never yeah. mind. Yeah, let's go. Friday. Hey, oh, perfect okay. timing. Perfect. Timing. All right, we can actually timing. do the plot. I'm so excited. Oh my god, Brendan. All right, cool. I thought we were gonna have to wait. <laughs> We've been invited to see Headmaster Ayaban in his office, Brendan. <laughs> Y'all want to get some breakfast and then head over? I While guess? Brendan is getting in, let me grab a drink real quick. I will yeah. uh, remind the other two, I don't know if Sean can hear me, but I'll remind you, Josh, that yeah. uh, since Doc is the only one who knows this, it is, it, the note says, at your earliest convenience. Yeah, you said, he's, Doc said whenever. Right now! Okay. Yep, yeah, I said whenever. <laughs> okay. It's the but weekend, we got section. nothing. Yeah. And, <laughs> I guess it is the weekend. Yeah. Um, you know, get it out of so, the way in the morning so I can have the rest of the day to do stuff. We don't always know where he hangs out, but I suppose the admin building's a fair place to start. Does he have, like, an office in there? Pretty sure he lives there. Does anyone know? <laughs> I, I, I think he lives there, too, but, like, we, we can't just walk into the room. We don't know where it is. I mean, we could just go to the secretary and ask, like, hey, we got this note. Um, that is what I was thinking, yes. You seem to work here a long time, you know? Is this legit? Uh... I will also say, Doc, uh, mm -hmm. this also has the outline of the crow on it. I was just about to ask if it had a mark or anything uh, on it. Good. <laughs> on the Literally, bottom, there is an outline of the crow. That was my next question. Very good. I almost want to put on. I almost want to put on my official Fighting Ravens T-shirt <laughs> that I got from the scavenger hunt for this. <laughs> Did we all get one, or was it just for you? I'm pretty sure we all got one. Wasn't that one of the prizes? Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. <laughs> School spirit. You know what? I'll put on a fight agreements t-shirt. If you suggest that out loud, Doc will totally join you. I that. suggested that out loud. All right, cool. Doc starts hunting through his dresser for his fight agreements t-shirt. Oh no! All right, my uh, guys, what are we waiting for? Doc and Eugene are dressed up uh, and the shirt on. They're they're fighting ravens uh, with a little cartoon raven uh, with oddly enough a bicep sort of bump. Doing, uh, a, uh, absolutely. Yes. doing a strongman like a, pose. Like a real... Amazing. I am sporting, as always, the the weird little, like, polo shirt and the jeans. And Brendan, hit him with it. The red sweater. That's Boom. what I'm fucking talking about, <laughs> as it's, always. As always. <laughs> as right. always. So, yeah, uh, wear those. The four of you immediately head to Ibon's uh, office. I guess. Where, where, where are you going? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Admin oh, building. that's a really yeah. good question. <laughs> we were just <laughs> where talking about <laughs> the admin building is where we're going to go to the admin building. I'm pretty sure. right. That's a good idea, and I fucking put my hand in my pocket. Frank, <laughs> you're coming, right? Of course. Okay, cool. I've brought some All pocky, right. and if we need to bargain with the secretary. <laughs> So, uh, we mean we have a wrong note. kind of pocky. It's the, <laughs> you know, it's the one we have. <laughs> the, four, the four of you go into the admin building. Uh, and as always, Miss Secretary is there dutifully Hang on. doing her. I work. have her name. I, okay. It is. It's, I know it's like a weird 
long it's name. That's why I keep forgetting it. Secretary Mauer. Yeah, Mauer. Uh, so, um, you, I assume you approach her. Uh, do you, do you uh, give her the letter right away? Um, uh, I mean, yeah, I'd probably just show her the letter, honestly. All right. Secretary Mauer, we're here to see the big man. <laughs> She's like, ah, yes. Um, all right. And she, she, get, you hand her the invitation. She looks over it for a second, but, uh, she doesn't look particularly surprised. Uh, and uh, she goes, oh, we're not in trouble, are we? Uh, she, <laughs> she like, like her face just sort of goes like blank for a second and she takes a deep breath and goes I don't uh, honestly know why he brings students into his office sometimes um oh, so, that's uh, oh, not, not oh, heartening I would not uh, describe that as uh, you guys aren't really troublemaker students so I'm sure it's just like a yeah a, yeah, a yeah I'm not or something. I'm, I'm not a troublemaker miss uh <sighs> <laughs> and she goes, but uh, I don't take care of these. The headmaster's uh, personal secretary does. Um, oh, we uh, didn't there know is we had a one. second secretary. <laughs> Two health bars. Um, <laughs> Two health bars. <laughs> Two health bars in a shield. You she her. You see her. She sure. uh, click a a button that is under her desk. Uh, it seems, um, and. Another woman comes from downstairs. Now, there's something weird about her upon immediately seeing her. Hmm, um, to be expected. Okay. Mainly that her face looks stuck in a very wide smile. Um, and she is, like, very pale. Like, porcelain pale. I have my notebook huh. out writing in it. Uh, hello, miss. What's your name? Yes. Um, are you here to see the master? Oh, that's disconcerting. Uh, yes. Uh, head, headmaster, uh, yes. Headmaster Ivan. <laughs> yes, uh, No, I think she Ibon. said what she meant. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, ma'am? All right, well, come upstairs. That's um, not an answer to my question. She goes <laughs> up the the two large. She goes up one of the two large staircases that goes uh, to the second floor. Hey, hey, Mauer. <laughs> yes. Hey, what's her name? I <laughs> I've never gotten her to say it. To be honest. Are you serious? How long have you been? How long has she been? What is this place? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a school, Raylan. Are you sure? I mean, you've been learning things. You go, to more you, class sure? you go to more classes than I do, Raylan, so that's more for you to make that decision. Now, I have administration work to do, so I would follow the nice lady um, and go meet Mr. Ivan. All right. Okay. Um... Bye, Secretary Mauer. See you later. <laughs> and I do finger guns. Bye. And she finger guns back. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> oh. I um, actually choked on my drink. So, uh, I assume the four of you follow uh, the other secretary upstairs? Yes. Yeah, secretary. Um, yes. Sorry, Devin, I missed secretary your name. What was it? <laughs> mm -hmm. I think you said it. I just, I wasn't paying attention. Um, and there is, a, sort of when you get upstairs, there's a small balcony with hallways going off into uh the forward and to your left and to your right uh the balcony obviously looking down on the front entrance and then uh to forward the hallway is much bigger it's it's very wide and there are rooms going off uh the doors are pretty like sparse <clears throat> i'd say as if like the rooms were very large uh and then in the very back is two double doors uh, like large wooden double doors. Raylan is having an internal conflict. <laughs> What's that? Wait, on one it. hand, on one hand, he really wants to time travel again. On the other hand, there's a lot of doors to try with this key. Oh no. Oh gosh. Not but, now. 
so cute. The idea <laughs> of time traveling and getting a chance at talking to Jessica again outweighs the key, so onward we go. All right. Uh, but I'm fucking the fingering the key lady in is my pocket. Already fucking... uh, at the end of the hallway, uh, holding one of the doors open. <coughs> Man, you move quick. Schmooze. <laughs> Uh, Did we see her move? She she was already there when you got upstairs. Uh, that's mm. fair. Mm. No, it's not. <laughs> Alright, we we'll walk at a brisk pace, you know? Walk like you're going somewhere. What? I do like to walk like I'm going somewhere. Can All you right, move exactly. your facial, facial mu muscles? Are you okay? She goes, I Is that am... to her? <laughs> oh. Yeah. I, I am perfectly fine. I just like smiling. No, um, nobody's okay. okay. <laughs> I don't like um, smiling. <laughs> the four of you enter into the room. Uh, it is a large office. Uh, make sure there's no <laughs> fucking airplane noises in the background. Um, there aren't. Yeah. Okay. I, um, no. Yeah. I closed the window. Uh, it is a large office uh, full of. A lot of wooden decorum. Uh, there is two more doors from the office. One is on the wall that you came in from. Like it goes into one of the rooms from that earlier uh, hallway. And one goes off to the left. Uh, and the room is very messy. There are books and papers oh, everywhere. Um mm -hmm. The the main desk itself in the middle has four chairs in front of it, uh, and it is covered in things. Not all of it is stuff you're able to recognize, uh, but some things, mm -hmm. a lot of papers, some things look like bones, maybe. Bones? Uh, Why is there just bones on his desk? Some things look like twenty aesthetic twenty sided dies, which you've seen before, but like hey, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> but they're they don't have like numbers on them. It's just a, a dodecahedron. Um, Miss Master Ibon, roll for initiative. And is uh, Ibon sitting at the desk? No one is currently sitting at the desk. I'm gonna uh... start looking at the books. <laughs> Uh, the secretary is in there with you, and she sort of rasps your hand uh, when hey! you go towards a book and says, Ah, uh, 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 no touching the master, the headmaster's things. He gave me... Hang on, hang on, hang on, wait, wait, hey, Devin, I just gotta, just gotta clarify. <laughs> yes. Are you catching yourself there, or is that her... She caught herself. herself. Uh... I, don't, I don't like... I'm... How, do you... <laughs> Have you ever looked up the signs of if you're in a cult, <laughs> ma'am? Uh, what do you mean looked up? On the in, on a, okay, yeah. <laughs> I. What year is it? Um, uh, <laughs> one million. Um. What? I, I lost count a while ago. Um. I'm sorry. I don't. What? I don't know. Is that an answer? All right. Uh, well, um... it's, it's an answer. <laughs> no, it's it's definitely not. Um, what? <laughs> the headmaster will be with you soon. I'd like the four of you to please sit in these chairs and not touch anything. Uh, of while course, I... we got it from here, Miss. Thank you so much. All if right. you want to just grab him. <laughs> uh, she really? walks out of uh, I immediately go for the books doc, really? doc pulls out his phone and starts writing on it uh, um <laughs> i try and take she, a picture she goes out of uh the back door that was Whoop. facing back into the hallway uh not the door you came from but like the the smaller door off to the side and the moment right before raylan you're about to touch a book the other door off to the left of the room slams open um and Ibon comes half sauntering, half limping out of the door and goes, hey boss, man. don't touch anything, Raylan. Sit back down. I uh, wasn't sitting to begin with. <laughs> sit, well. Uh, I go and, and I sit down. He walks up to the very busy desk, puts one arm on one side of it 
and pushes everything no. from the desk oh, no! onto the floor. <laughs> no! That's uh, uh... Immediately, okay. without prompt, the secretary comes back into the room and does her best to tidy everything that, that fell on the floor uh, very quickly and then moves back into <clears throat> the uh, room that she was in. I well, sit across from him and I put my hands on his desk and I lean forward and I go, "What is the? What is? What is that?" Raylan, sit down. <laughs> Raylan, I'm sitting down. You better respect your elders. Yeah. Who is she? What is she? Raylan, what is chill. That? Well, Raylan, what's Raylan? Up? We're here for a meeting first. You can chat later. We can chat later. Oh, I really want to chat. Well, you know, we're we'll be here. Um. So, All right. uh, sir, I hope I kn I hope the four of you might know. Um, why I brought you all here. Is it... Uh, I don't, actually. Alright. Um, any guesses? Is it about Jessica? No, Does it's it not some... about Jessica. I'd rather not... It, Jess, I'd rather not Jessica in general. Um... Oh, she seems nice enough. Yeah, well, that's your perception of the situation. Your limited, oh. limited perception of the situation. This um, seems more rude and unnecessary. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. uh, out of character question, yes. Devin, do we okay. know? No, that's the Ivan voice. That's not <laughs> out of character. Question. Um, <laughs> that's not a Devin. Has <laughs> I know you've mentioned it to us, but has the um, the fair coming up soon? Has that been announced on campus openly? Yes, yeah. it has. Mm -hmm. When does mm -hmm. that start? Uh, and it was about one week from the day. Okay, then Doc's guess is, does, does it have anything to do with the fair that's coming to oh, campus? Woody, somebody, ah, the just, smart one! Uh, um, Wait. Yes. Why just us? Doc smiles. Well, the four of you are... Well, I've been enjoying the little games that we've been playing on campus this semester. <clears throat> games? Games? People are dead! Uh, yeah, one or two. Um, <laughs> one or two? That's one or two too many! I've been enjoying... <laughs> The, the little games we've been playing on the semester so far. But my reputation with the circus uh, and its ringmaster is very important to me. So I want you all to know that you absolutely cannot interact with the circus the way you've been interacting with this campus. Oh, uh... I'll make what, a deal. <laughs> what specifically do you need us to do differently? Um, oh, I come mean, on, Doc. <laughs> Don't look into it. It's I mean I that's a pretty easy question, Doc. Yeah. I thought you were the Don't smart break one. any of their windows. I don't um, hey, come on, I, man. I know this might be it. I mean, Which of the windows weird. was you, Raylan? Actually, I know that answer, never mind. The other one was Troy. <laughs> Trey. Ah, whatever. They all sound the same. Troy Trey? No. <laughs> oh, no. Thankfully um, he's not dead because of us. Oh, sir, if we're saving yeah. you from a lawsuit. Mm -hmm. He could have not been dead. Probably would have died. <laughs> Maybe. Probably something something bad would have happened. Anyways, I'll make a deal with you. I'll I'll agree. I don't. But, I, are you in a position to make deals, Raylan? Don't you need power? I am to very. To I'm very frustrating. Ask anybody. And I don't like to do what I'm told. What? Okay. What is it you? I'm want? just kind of looking around his <laughs> office as they're all sitting there. I'm just kind of walking around, looking. At I scratch your back. You scratch stuff. mine. You know what I mean? I help you with your reputation, and maybe you help me with Jessica. I thought Arthur was much more frustrating. Um. <laughs> sorry. No. All right. What? I. That's not even what I thought you were going to ask for, to be real. Um, what do you think I was going to ask for? I mean, more of the uh, just wonderful concoction that I had. Uh, well, that could be involving Jessica. I could talk to, you know, do the whole thing again. Yeah, I mean... What is it with you and Jessica, Raylan? Let's, Are you not um, fascinated? I'm intrigued. About that, just wait for Christmas and see what Yogg-Sothoth puts under your pillow. What? I'm sorry, what? Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, uh, forget that name. Um, what do you mean for... Okay. Um, all right. Uh, Jessica. I'm still just poking around. <laughs> as long as you don't touch anything, you'll be fine. Um, oh, I've already I'll touched, like, the... I've already touched, like, three jars. Yeah, the... 
<laughs> the uh, at this point, the uh, secretary has come back into the room and is basically just hovering over you, Francis, like <laughs> grabbing your arm the moment you try to touch anything, as you're trying to sneak like sneakily, just like tap books. You're not even trying to open them; you're just trying to tap books. Um, and he's like, you know what? I'll, I'll look into uh, if there's any sort of thing I can do about that thing uh, I'll, I'll look through my library and you don't bother the circus just enjoy your time enjoy the spectacle don't bother them and a good yeah. start to, to our, our combined investigation that we're embarking on here I... Would be for more of that drink from Homecoming. You are not getting more of the drink. That would be very oh, helpful to though to our combined investigation that we are setting out on right now. If I Raylan, give Doc you... is looking at Raylan of absolute just disbelief. If I give you more of that drink, I will have a madman on campus, and I already have. <laughs> you already of have those. many of them, I promise. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> no. All right. Well. Um. Well. Uh, you know, all right. Yes, well, Eugene. Mm-hmm. You don't speak that much. I, I just. I have a quick question. Um. If you don't mind, sir. Um. It's, it's the reputation with the circus. If uh, you don't mind me asking, what's the what's the whole deal with with that with them? I the, the I, I mean that's not really like your place to be asking. Um. I, mean, I, I thought I was four of you are questions. very presumptuous. I mean, okay. I'm just, just sitting here. I don't. I mean, I look. I'm just. I'm just thinking. We got called. We just got called the rest of you guys puppets. So I'm feeling Stum- pretty cool about myself. Some of us have <laughs> in this room have a tendency to maybe stick their noses where they don't <laughs> belong. Um, Why are you looking at me? <laughs> not looking at anybody, Raylan. Um, I only asked for one thing, and he doesn't want to give it to me. Uh, Raylan, your bargaining chip is just being annoying and access to a pallet of Pocky that isn't even yours. I don't think you have real room to bargain with Ibon here. I also buy coffee for people sometimes. I think this... I think he can buy a lot more coffee. (laughs) Look, I'm just just a little confused at the moment. Eugene, I will answer your question with a question. (laughs) <laughs> if one of your friends trust. here started a circus that maybe sacrificed children to a dark god I'm sorry um, what? usually <laughs> hypothetical you'd want to stay on their good in side in this context Raylan, it's very Raylan, much no, not no, Raylan guys let's just, let's, let me I just want to hear what our good headmaster has to say, <laughs> hypothetically, okay, I'm with you. Wouldn't you want to just, like, stay on that good side? I have a feeling that you're <laughs> not malicious, and I, I don't know if I'm know? wrong about that. I really think you might be trying to protect the students that live here, but doing a terrible job at it. <clears throat> I, Raylan, am a teacher. A teacher Are of you? <laughs> un- you need to stop interrupting him, um, really. Um, he's just gonna make us disappear. Very different things than most teachers teach. Uh, and how many times are you gonna say the words "teacher" and "teach" in the same sentence? I'll teach you to shut yeah. your goddamn mouth, Francis. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's nothing stopping you. Uh, if you can hurt kids on campus, I don't think. Stop you. <laughs> I don't think Mr. Villa would approve of your sentence structure. What? All right. That's the English uh, teacher's teacher. name. Mr. Okay. Villa. Yes. Villa. Yes. I don't know what teacher's name is. Good joke. Um, <laughs> it wasn't a joke. That was a lot of teachers and teachers. Oh, my God. Let him finish his guys. <laughs> but maybe the teachers that are teaching us the things could teach Ibon a few things about being a teacher since he's the head teacher of the teaching establishment. <laughs> All right. That's it. You're. I'm he, really sorry about he them. He snaps his fingers. <laughs> and... <laughs> Uh, Francis, your mouth sews itself shut. Oh my god! Holy shit! Uh, everyone rolls sanity. What? What? 
Everyone oh. rolls sanity. Everyone? Okay. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Francis is typing. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 there's advantages and disadvantages. Can Give me a no, no, you can't. No, you can't get advantage on oh, sanity. Oh, you can't. I'm for the sanity, right? Right. Okay. Oh dear. Wait. Hang on. <laughs> well, he um, succeeds anyway. Wait, did you serve him? <laughs> um. I... <laughs> wait. What did? I, what is failing do again? Uh, yeah. Hang on. Um, just give, give me. A, give me a moment. Give me. A I thought with sanity you wanted to fail. No, you fucking. No, it's the in. Oh. It's the in. Give me a moment. To, before. Does, does Francis also run Sanity for having his mouth sewn shut? He did. Oh, okay. He did. <laughs> um, all right. Oh my god, she's, the secretary's just gonna bite your neck and drain you of all your blood. <laughs> let me make sure. Let me, oh, let me, she's a vampire? a vampire? I 100% think she's a vampire. What Doc was typing before Ivan came in, which he put away quickly, was, <laughs> you guys think she's a vampire? Uh... Let me just remember what. Francis is like, yeah, I'd be into it. She could be a doll. Mm. That's not impossible as well. Like some kind of like porcelain doll brought to life. Some kind of construct, maybe a golem <laughs> of some form. I'm just oh, trying to well. remember what. Francis, your mouth. <laughs> That's no good. Um, um, I'm just trying to remember but... if 29 is. A That's cool. no good. His fucking mouth sewn itself shut in front of my eyes. Like, this is different than whispers in the back of my head. What the actual fuck? Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna shut up so he doesn't do it to me too. Okay, at least, doc, yeah. at at least when I time traveled. When I time traveled, I thought that might just be me being fucking crazy, but what did the stitching up look like, Devin? Like, um, it looked like stitches? It, it looked or, like. Or... Um. I want to, I, I'm just trying to make sure I want to check the. the... Because it's going to be different based on who crit failed. Because I think someone crit failed. Did I crit fail? Oh, shit. Uh, I, I got a 98. No, I got just a 95. barely. We both avoided a crit think. by... Raylan avoided a crit by one? No, the, the, the thing for crit is higher, which is what I'm trying to... Oh, do. no! It's 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 more than just a 99 or a 100. It's like... It starts at like... Oh. Five. Oh, I think no. I'm trying well, to. That's what I'm trying to look up, and all you fuckers keep talking, and I can't focus on. And quick finding Google where it says is 96 to 100. 96 to 100? Okay. Is what the quick Google the says. Five. So I'm fine, but Raylan's Doc fucked. Doc just barely. Okay. Raylan, okay. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I'm not fine, but I'm better. <laughs> Raylan. Take. Aww. Take six sanity. Mm -hmm. damage. Okay, I'm alright. No? No, I don't think you are. What are your guys' sanities at? Uh, it's not a matter uh, of... more than yours. My sanity's still higher than Doc? Francis's, so it's okay. Doc, yeah, roll but... a d6. Mm -hmm. Eugene, uh, Fuck. take... Fuck. Eugene, take two. All right. Um, and Francis, also take two. All right. The two who rolled five. Oh. Uh, who rolled higher than five, technically. Um, Shit. Let's go to the right part. Um, Wait, am I about to have an episode of Madness? So, both of you, please roll intelligence. Oh, no. Oh, to see if we understand what we just saw. Off. Holy oh. shit! No! No, really bad! That's really bad! <laughs> yes, Francis, Do I have... too, too off sanity. Um, Do I have to use... Uh, oh, that's so bad! Advantage guys, on this roll? Uh... I have one, okay. two, I have two <laughs> advantages stacked up. Do I have to use it here? Um, you can choose not to use your advantage if you want. Uh, fuck it. It can't get any worse. Mm, it can always get worse. Uh, I didn't get a bi big enough one. Okay, Chad, do you want to use one of your advantages? advantages? I don't have no, any you, 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 you don't. You have a disadvantage. I don't. Wait, who's your disadvantage? Who's your disadvantage? I guess not. No, no, he's a disadvantage. I'll, he's already worse. technically lost the skill, so. Uh, is sucks. It, oh, did it? I yeah, yeah, because. The success is not getting, not getting a okay. success. Okay. The, um, the a desired outcome is not succeeding on the intelligence, because oh, okay, that's yeah. how well you understand what just happened. And Doc just had a fucking brain blast about what he just saw in front of him, right. so that's not good. All right. Um, those who lost sanity, you mm -hmm. see 
a sort of mildly almost invisible needle uh, appear next to Francis and sew his mouth shut. Uh, Jesus Christ! Yuji, um, do you see that? Uh, yeah! What the fuck? Um, that's, uh... Huh. Okay, uh, um... <clears throat> and Eugene and Francis, uh, for mm-hmm. you it was much faster. Uh, mm-hmm. For you it was more of a blink and it's done. Francis, you did not feel the full thing. You actually don't feel much pain at all. Just the terrifying realization that you are unable to open your mouth. Um... Raylan and Doc, uh, uh-huh. you are now temporarily insane. <laughs> um, <laughs> so both of you roll a d10. This would be a really uh, good time for. This would... All right, for the next day, both of you are have at least underlying insanity. Um, okay. And currently, in your bout of madness you are forced to silence you can't you just can't bring yourself to speak you're too stricken uh with just fear and and distraught at something that gruesome um ibon stands tall over the desk and and seems to almost get larger a little bit as if to intimidate uh the the lot of you and says, I didn't want it to come to something like this. But I don't exactly like being interrupted by a bunch of little sniveling students who don't know how to respect when their headmaster is using a little bit of the authority that he deigns to have. Um, and he, uh, walks around the desk and sits down on it. Uh, Francis, you can, you can meet his eyes. No, that was me uh, that asked. Oh, yes, you can, Raylan, sorry. I'm just, I fucking full on um, meet his stare. Doc's eyes are wider than dinner plates, like, <laughs> as wide as they get. Uh, he, um... He sits down on the other side of the desk towards you guys and goes, I expect you to not mess with the circus. Don't worry about what happens there. It does not concern you. And I don't want my four little troublemakers on campus this semester to get put out of their misery by a few people that are a little above their pay grade. If you really, really want to deal with it, then after this school is over, you can go to your heart's content and find them. But for now, do not bother with them. And Raylan, just out of the kindness of my heart, I will give you some help. But, obviously, you'll have to find it when you do. Now, the four of you, please get the hell out of my office so that I can spend my time doing much more helpful things than speaking to a bunch of you. The second he finishes speaking, Doc fucking bolts for the door. I'm gonna... It's such a continuous movement that, like, you don't even see him leave the chair, practically. And the doc slams it behind him. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna sit with Francis. Well, steps. um, I. Sorry about them, sir. Um, but thanks for the for the insight. Um, thanks for the heads up. Uh, I guess I'll see you around, sir. And I, right. I head to the door. I pull out my book, and I write in it. I hold it up to him and it just reads you know where to find me and then I close it I get up and I walk out Francis uh yeah you are still there 
Um, he God's just giving Francis. <laughs> he snaps his fingers again, and the uh, I'm not the, the stitches unconnect from your mouth, and you are able to to speak again. And he goes, "Oh yes, you were one of the ones in my uh, uh, study in my library a little bit ago." Mm-hmm. Um. Ha. Huh. What's up? Why are you still here? I very, very specifically requested you to leave. <laughs> well, I didn't want to leave until you fixed this shit, but now you did, so that's good. Well, there you are. Mm-hmm. Didn't expect you to be that much of a dick, but I don't oh want to push God. me like any further, <laughs> so I get up. Well, remove <laughs> yours! <laughs> <laughs> With magic! Should I yank that shit off? All right. I'll see you later. And I just walk out the door. And Ibon just takes a deep breath as you walk out the door and you see the secretary with her big wide smile shut oh, the door behind and, you. Oh, and one last thing. No. <laughs> Fuck you. I, come, I go back in. <laughs> I take a small jar he had on one of the shelves. I put it back <laughs> on the desk. I go, that doesn't belong to me. And I just leave. Uh... And uh, he just smiles a bit, and you you walk out the door. Um, I'm going to die. <laughs> yes. Eugene's gonna have this room to himself all one hand <laughs> soon. One hand. He can for have theft. the room to himself. Uh, he can have that have, room have all any to himself, but with no pillows. Have any of you made it to the more. stairs going downstairs yet? I'm oh. heading there. I'm walking. I'm not like sprinting like you did, but I get there. Oh, I'm Raylan, Doc, you're Is anybody up madness. here with me? Up where? Up on the second floor. No, I, everyone went down immediately. I mean, Francis oh, okay. might still be there with you for a second because he was the last one to leave. I'm just leaving now, but. You see, uh, whoever makes it to the stairs first, who is that? It would be Eugene, probably, because he left before you. Okay, uh, you see Doc halfway down the stairs, uh, curled up in a ball, just sort of back pressed as tightly as it can be against the wall, just sort of shaking. And like looking at his hands. Um, I will also say, Eugene, Doc, Raylan, could mm-hmm. all three of you please fill your. MP bar to its, its maximum. Time. Let's go! Oh. We have so touched two? magic. All three, uh, Francis, you've already done it, but all three of you have now yes. witnessed magic. Uh, oh. Yeah. Alright. It's funny, magic's pretty much I... like a virus in Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> I try to get. Oh, that's Naka. a. I, I, will, I, will, I will admit now that is a home rule. Um. Ah, uh, I, magic I, is viral. I, okay. I think it adds more yeah. pomp and circumstance to to magic if you. No, that's very cool. Yeah. If, if so it's like that. good. So I get to dock first on the stairs. Uh, hey. Doc uh, is is sort of still shaking a bit, but he like he, he raises one hand and sort of gives you like a half wave. You you you're talking yet? Uh, uh, Doc, your bout, of, your bout of madness is is sort of coming down now that uh, now that like you are away from him, so you're no longer you have the the underlying insanity, uh, and are having a hard time speaking, but you can speak. Mm-hmm. I, um, y- Eugene, Doc, what? Come on, Doc. What is that? I'm not quite certain myself. Which thing? But I uh, watched Frank's mouth get sewn the fuck shut. Sh- 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 we all did. Da, Doc, Ray, Le- out. We go out. Go. We go out. Okay. Out. And Doc violently uh, slams his hands down on the ground and shoves himself upwards, and um, very quickly continues making his way down the stairs. I give shaky finger guns to the secretary. <laughs> Uh, she pauses for a second and goes, 
that bad, huh? Doc doesn't say a word, head down, <laughs> fast I, walking past the I, as, as she says that to Raylan, I just look her dead in the eyes with this just, this, like, look that like, like a, like a very frustrated and disappointed parent would give. <laughs> oh, damn. Just, like, Is that Eugene right now? <laughs> I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. No, I'm very mad. Also disappointed. <laughs> um, At who? I didn't even do anything you. wrong. Oh. And I Frank, also, surely. Frank, oh yeah, absolutely Frank. I with the secretary. What about me? Like she knows. <laughs> she knows bad shit happens to students. These are, she's an abuser. <laughs> well, she's an enabler. Um, yeah. yeah, sorry, you're right. Uh, Ayabon's an abuser. <laughs> um, I like how, who, Sean, was it you who said partway into that you, he might be like helping the students yeah yeah, yeah that's up that's, that's think, an no. interpretation <laughs> i oh no i i was my thought was that he is like kind of trying i don't think he's trying to kill everybody in the school is what that was <laughs> is it's like i'm doing my own thing and i'm gonna try to keep you guys from dying but if you get yourselves killed that's not on me <laughs> all right um I'm glad I'm playing Ivan well. Uh, so, is that what you wanted us to take from it? <laughs> so it's uh, you still <laughs> have a bit of Saturday left. Uh, a lot of Saturday left, actually, because you guys went there first thing in the morning. I'm gonna um, text Arthur and see if he wants to hang out in the bar. <laughs> uh, Arthur replies, "Yeah, I'll meet you for lunch. I have some." stuff to do in the morning okay so it is still right. fairly early in the day yes chad that succeeded <laughs> um i'm just gonna go to the bar and sit there <laughs> yeah you do that all right eugene you know i don't what, what time is it about it's early like 10 o'clock Okay. Um, you know, I I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm I think Eugene's a little too a little too frustrated and irritated at the moment to really have a direction. Um I think he's just going to chill with Doc. Uh all right. Uh Francis? <laughs> I'm going to just go chill at the gym for a little bit. All right. Uh, yes, Chad, you can go ahead and do that. Oh. What's Chad doing? Chad things. All right. Um. Mm -hmm. That's my disadvantage. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, uh, as, as you, uh, Doc got outside a, a bit before you, Eugene, because he was moving very quickly. Um, and mm -hmm. as you come out, you notice that, uh, he seems to be still booking it towards one of the nearby trees that are around on campus. Mm -hmm. But um, he's moving quickly, but you can still pretty clearly see where he's going. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm just going to follow. Okay. Okay. You and Doc, uh, you eventually catch up to Doc, uh, as I think you're slightly more athletic than he is. Um, <laughs> and... <laughs> Well, Doc is uh, quick, but he is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, technically, let me. Both of you roll decks just for the. I'm not running. It's. I mean, I could roll it if you want, though. No, no, no. But, okay. Uh, sure. Still be you. Um. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, I can get rid of the Ivan theme now. Let's go to something else. Still kind of want a somber mood, though. Mm -hmm. Uh. Let's use this one for now. Alright. Doc, Eugene, you guys have met up. As you uh as you approach Doc, do you uh take a look at his face? He he turns to look at you and um I don't know, David, you want Josh to roll something in terms of It's the of... fucking secretary smile. <gasps> uh no. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Fucking shit. Uh what do you want him to roll psychology? 
I mean, do you? Do you want to see what Doc's looking like? Do you want to just describe it, Chad? Or do you yeah, I can just describe it. Okay, just um, describe it. All right, hide. Doc's not trying to hide it. Yeah. I mean, he's trying to hide it a little, but <laughs> he, uh, he almost looks, uh, like, embarrassed that you caught up with him. Like, he looks kind of ashamed, is the vibe you're getting. Oh, um, hi, hi Eugene. I didn't realize you were, you were coming after me. Yeah, I don't really have anywhere to go right now. Um, mm. Man. Mm. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes. Would you like to discuss how magic is real? Doc says a little louder than he intended. I think... You know... Um... Personally... Uh-huh. I think we're a little past the point of realizing that. Yeah? Uh-huh. Um, yeah? Well, this is proof. This is, like, official 100% confirmed saw it happen in front of my eyes proof. That could not be explained by anything else. Just watch my friend's fucking mouth be shown soon. Doc visibly composes and tries to compose himself. Just, just watch my friend's mouth be literally shown, swollen, sewn, sewn shut in front of my face. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. That's a little more intense than we've encountered before, Eugene. That's that's a little more than voices yeah, in our ears. I, I hear you. I just it it. Look, I don't know. Just how it clicked for you in your head, okay? Oh, it, but it I clicked. I just it happened fast for me, and to be quite honest with you, I just I'm trying to not get my mind off of it. More just concerned with some of the implications of the yeah. conversation. Yeah, yeah, me, me too. Um, me very concerned about the sacrificing of students on campus. Well, that's the question that I have. Um, <sighs> so what? Like, is this like some sort of sick deal that Ibon has worked out with the circus? Like, he brings them to campus where there's lots of, of valid targets, and then the slow or the, or the stupid or the students that aren't worthy of, like, whatever measures he has are sacrificed to whatever fucking dark god he was talking about? That's what he said, right? The circus hey. sacrifices students to dark gods. I know it was hypothetical, but you know, Ibon, that no, wasn't no, no, hypothetical. No, no, no. I know it wasn't hypothetical, but what I'm I'm saying is maybe it may, maybe there's a bit more to it than that. Um, well, we're not we... allowed to investigate, or I'll have my fucking mouth showing shut, or maybe yeah, something not... worse. Which is why I would like your help, okay? With something kind of simple and very not magic related to just, I don't know, change the subject a little bit. Um, Doc, is, Doc I... is having trouble focusing on you a bit. He's, it looks like he's not looking at you. He's sort of like looking over your shoulder. We need to rein those two in. Mm, mm. Okay, you know mm-hmm. who I'm talking about. Yes, the two that have no respect for authority. And yes, yep. And it seems like sometimes Ibon wants authority. And yes, yep. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's the one. Yeah. I mean, like I, re- I respect the investigative spirit, and like Frank just seems to like fucking with people. But I don't. That was that was bad. That was really bad. Yeah. And if they that... do that to the circus master, we're gonna never be seen again. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say we. Um. Oh, I'm sure we'll get involved somehow. We typically do. Besides, I'm far too curious about things not to get involved in them. And that's the thing. <laughs> For once, please, Doc, don't. Don't? Um, I don't know if this deal is he hands off a few of the, you know, lets, lets a few of the slow ones get, get snapped up as, they ra- as they're not, you know, catching up with the pack or anything like that, if that's, like, this kind of deal. Or it's if like it's, trials of contest or race, is it like if you're, if you're going through the circus and you're not paying attention enough, you just fucking disappear into a tent somewhere? Like, there's so many possibilities. This is out of a horror movie, Eugene! And we're living it. I mean, it's not yet, but... But maybe... Maybe there's a slight chance, which I didn't get the chance to ask, because Raylan and and Frank, <laughs> maybe there's a chance that the reputation is more just, you know, keeping things <laughs> calm, minimizing it, rather than just letting them do their thing for a little bit. Mm. Maybe it's not as, you know, horror movie plot as you might be making it out to be maybe it's trying every thing to dodge that maybe not maybe maybe not we still don't have the best grasp of ibon's intentions that is admittedly true he says it's an old friend uh 
I clearly Ibon also horrible. What did he? What was the exact phrase he used? Like uh, horrors or something? I, I. What did he say they were feeding the children to? I can't quite remember. Just sacrificing. Okay. Dark something. I don't know. Look. Fine. I... We'll, go, we'll go with dark gods for now until we have a better. But yeah, the. the Ibon, if he knows this guy and he's friends with him and he knows he's sacrificing dark gods, he probably also knows about the dark gods. Like, how many students do you think disappear from campus in a year? You know? I wonder if Arthur would know. Maybe that's a good place to start. Maybe Arthur knows something about this circus. Doc, Doc is focusing in a little yeah. bit more on... This is the first time he's made eye contact with you the entire conversation. He's been looking all around, everywhere but your eyes, essentially. Nice. I, I... Gesticulating wildly. I give I give him a like kind of a smile at that like hey good you know we're we're good you're chilling out we're good a little doc, bit I don't know doc, doc is still shaking but he, he gives you like sort of a, a half smile back uh it looks a little forced but he's trying okay I um think... Arthur where Arthur Arthur in safe house do we I don't think no that where Aylin went there but um I can text him to see when he's gonna be free next but I think that's gonna be the play from here you need to you're you know you're a resident magic guy um as much <laughs> as you know as I get I understand I understand mm -hmm. we just saw that no I mean it was so, it was horrific but also strangely fascinating I exactly uh, and that's you're a resident magic guy again so mm -hmm. if anybody is gonna be able to turn Raylan away from the you know throw a rock through the wrong glass door it's gonna be yeah, that wasn't that wasn't great it was, it was not an ideal um, but why did he do that we we should talk to him more about his reasoning behind that but he's probably yeah i don't know do you That's get the a, feeling he's like he's keeping stuff to himself 100 percent. he took the key and he disappears for a day he took the key some adventure. exactly yeah no it's odd so look we need to just find out what we can about what's what the people who've been here know <laughs> so i think you know good for us with our tea club pals i think that might be the people to sort of leverage because i don't think we you know like you said don't go digging into the circus while they're here but if we can find out what they what people have seen them in the past know we can try and find out what information we can without having to dig you know uh, some of which everything's so, so fine let's go they're fine let's go talk to arthur everything's everything's okay. so fine and then Doc turns around and uh, it starts walking in a random direction and then realizes wait. and like sort of jolts is like, wait, I don't know where Arthur is. And then he turns around and he comes back to you. He's you like, want to get some pizza or something? Something to calm the nerves? Maybe food would be good. Food wouldn't be uh, bad, certainly. Okay, yeah, yeah sure. Let's, 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 find, let's find Howard and, and Trey. And... Okay, let's pizza. Pizza is good. I like pizza. Yeah. All right. And then we go to pizza. We go to pizza. The two of you go get pizza uh do you do either you text arthur oh yeah i text arthur yeah. on the way there okay like hey doc, how's it going you can be free later today you need to talk doc pulls out his phone and starts texting without arthur. raylan um and eugene you might notice this doc starts texting arthur when we start walking to go to the pizza place and doc is still texting arthur after ordering the pizza and is still in the chair has he sent any messages yet what I, I haven't sent a message yet. No, this is this is all the same message. And Doc turns and he shows you a wall of text that he's been writing to Arthur. Dude, it's a messaging app, not a, not a word processor. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. You're right. And then and then Doc selects it all and deletes the entire message. Also, texting is not particularly secure. Um. Uh, it isn't. No, what are you? Okay. Um. Yeah, no, um, fun fact, the only unhackable computer is the one that can't turn on. Ha, huh. I guess that makes sense. And given the circumstances here, you would do well to remember that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, yep, yeah, that, okay, yes, so special secret details not in text message, that, okay. Yes. How was phone call? Bad. 
Also um, bad. Better, still bad. Just if it's if it's something you want to keep on the down low, discuss it in person. But then what if people eavesdrop on us or like there is eavesdropping equipment or like however the fuck Mrs. Bates finds out everything she does. Hi, Mrs. Bates. I'm sure you can hear this at some way. And I'm sure at some point we'll talk later about you talking about me talking about this. That'll be fun, right? Doc says out loud to himself in the middle of the cafeteria. You get a text from Mrs. Mrs. Bates. Uh, <laughs> but it is uh, from the entire group chat. It's just a that just says, tea club chat. Oh, silly. Oh, silly me. I forgot that. Uh, we are not going to have a club next week because we're encouraged not to have clubs during the, the school off time. Ah, <laughs> uh, fun. Uh, okay, well, I guess, you know, we'll just... That is very coincidental timing, but, you know, I'm not going to question it at this point. You know, gotta be honest, and then Doc, and Doc turns to Eugene. When I, when I saw that text, I thought it was her texting me. Yup, I heard that, and I honestly well... think I was just going to go fucking jump in the lake if that happened. You know, if she can hear us, uh, oh, then, uh, if, uh, I don't know, um, <laughs> if she wants some pizza, I'm willing to buy pizza for the, for the club for a day or two. You're, you're, if that's... yeah, yeah, <laughs> fair. Look. Okay, um, Arthur responded yet, maybe? Did Arthur respond? Eugene, did you text Arthur? What, what did you text him? Uh need to talk later when if you're free need to yeah he goes yeah i'm meeting raylan around lunchtime what's up oh mm -hmm. great um <laughs> well there goes that pledge <laughs> you should you're, use that you're you're taller than raylan right <laughs> wait what you mean <laughs> arthur or is, is arthur taller than raylan yes arthur is okay. taller than raylan because he is much okay. older yeah, so I just say, you're taller than Raylan. Could you kindly just, you know, give him a good smack upside the back of his head for me? Um, he replies, uh, probably? It depends. What's happened today? He didn't give me any information. Um, a superb lack of respect for authority at the worst possible time. Oh. Okay, which authority? Please don't tell me he did anything with the drama club. Oh. The drama the... club? <laughs> wait, that is wait, not wait, at wait, all wait. what I expected wait, him wait, to wait, say. Wait, wait. I, I look club? at that message. I look at that message and I'm he like... He knows you're not in the tea club, Raylan. The drama club's the only thing yeah. you thought of. I'm not in the drama club either. Oh. I just, I just, I text, uh, I text Arthur back. The authority. Ah, yeah, the circus was coming up. Um, I didn't think he'd talk to you guys about it, but I guess he did. Um, how bad was it? Um, Chad? Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it was a bit of a circus in that office. Ah, well, and... I'll, I'll talk to him. Yeah. And we'll I talk guess. later. I, I have questions. Okay. Might need to check other references. The going to be tough with the tea club not meeting, but we'll make do. All right. Um, Raylan, you have your lunch with uh, yeah. Arthur. Yeah. So he, I just sit there. You're already in there. Arthur shows up and goes, "Hey, yeah. Raylan, how's it going? Um, I heard you met with Ivon earlier. Oh yeah, productive meeting. Productive meeting. You, okay. Yeah. Um, how did it go? What, what <laughs> oh, does productive we... mean? Ivon's not really one to be productive." He's going to help me out. Ha ha uh, Ivan is also not really one to help people, so little we made more a deal. information. What does the deal mean? I really need I, to spot. I'm need supposed to, to a little more. I'm supposed to stay away from the circus. Yeah. He's so... going to help me with Jessica. Oh. Uh, all right. Yeah. Um. 
Of course, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you are really going to mess with the Soviets. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't I? And you were, nice. you were so asked by the highest authority in this area oh. to please not mess. Raylan, I'll say it from from me instead of Ibon. There's something wrong with the circus. Something I know there's something wrong with this school, but it's it's not So you're gonna sit back and watch people die? I no one no one has died to the circus yet from this like no one has died during i i've been keeping track because he gave me the same warning no one and has if died anything on happens this year that. i will you get involved I, then i maybe if any if anything happens then yes i i'd help as if i could as much as i could if anything happens i don't think it will it hasn't yet we know about it you tell us and we fix it maybe no <laughs> not maybe are you just so you're telling me that you're okay with letting these people kill children we don't what did he what the hell did he say to you oh uh, we pissed him off a little bit and he kind of snapped and he said that the reason he wanted to have a good reputation with the circus is because he said something about having a friend that went off and started a circus that's dedicated to child sacrifice and then he you know he was like that's why i want to keep him happy there's something like that uh, they have not well that's they've not been that they haven't done anything like that in the last few years. What have they done? I, they've just thrown a circus. So everything's pretty normal, usually. Yeah, usually. So long as everything stays normal, I'll stay out of it. All right. I... Okay. Anything else, Raylan? Uh... Are you good? You seem a little out of it. I just watched Frank's mouth get sewn shut by a invisible needle that oh, appeared Jesus. out of midair. You guys must have pissed him off a lot. We were touching his stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, I was uh, not. I also touched his stuff. <laughs> yes, you were. Oh. We touched his I, stuff. I talked I, to him I'm in a way that Arthur might be. Text. And now you he's, he's might... the extent. That might be considered disrespectful to some, but at the same time, this guy runs a murder school. So, really, I'm not sure what respect he... Out of the void, I said no. <laughs> um, I, I'm not sure what respect he believes he deserves. Well, uh, enough that you don't get killed before leaving this school. Because I The secretary don't... knew about it as well. I don't think that's a very high bar for him. And I've been doing my best to not get it happen. And I don't want the four new students that I've been trying to help this semester go ahead and just do it on their own. I was right. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have had a bunch of kids help me with stuff. I should have just kept doing it on my own. That doesn't sound like a good idea. In fact, I feel like if I said the same thing to you, you'd hit me. I don't. I don't hit you. No, you're right. You're not any of the adults here. That's a weird way to say that. Um, All right, I'm sorry. Only Ayabon's the one stitching people's mouths shut. The rest are just enablers. I mean, there have been one or two teachers who have also been doing some bad stuff, but I got them. Um, and they're pretty rare. I just uh -oh. gave a disadvantage. That's rude. Oh, you have an advantage before it, so... Yeah. Um, well, regardless... Good... But, yeah. I don't know. I think something we have an about... understanding. Something about Ibon draws people to this place. It's weird. I just... You mean creeps? I... Yeah, I mean... Uh, people like you, too, Raylan. People who are curious. Yeah, well... People it wasn't Ibon that drew lost. me. It was that YouTube video that I've... Kinda let slip. 
Yeah, I don't I think I'm gonna find any answers oh, about that. Anyways. Talking about that. <sighs> Probably just another dead kid. There seems to be a pile of them here. Yeah. Yeah, there does. Raylan, anything else? No, that's about all I had. I'm sure Eugene wants to talk to you or keep me from talking to you. Either way, they don't seem to like my insistence on, you know, finding things out. I think they have a, a healthy respect for what should be discovered and what shouldn't. But also, they are still actively participating in the Fine Tea Club, so I don't know how much I respect their decision on the matter. Um, <laughs> yeah, I took the advice. I didn't do shit. Francis is the only I... one who's not going around, like, actively causing trouble. And even then, I have this feeling that something's up there. <laughs> He didn't seem too surprised by Ayaban sewing his mouth shut. That is an excellent point. I'm sad I'm not there to hear it. Be it's shock? Hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan? What's up, man? Brendan, was the thought going through Frank's head when he, when he was getting his mouth stitched shut just like, that's a party foul, bro? Or was it... Was it... <laughs> It's kind of like, well, all right, kind of deserve that. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so he's like, all right, well, yeah, there's something going on with Francis, too, of course. What um, do you mean, of course? Like, I'm a problem. The four child. of you. <laughs> it's just us. This fucking gang. Um, he goes, no, okay. He goes wrong with you four. <laughs> all right, Raylan, really, go relax. Hey, You've that. obviously seen some bad. I am relaxing. Good this point. is very relaxing for me. Arthur gets up. <laughs> I need to go relax myself. Um, Have fun with Alfred. <laughs> he just gives you a really dirty look as he leaves the room. <laughs> that was rude. This, this entire time, Rayland has been picking at his fingernails with a pocket knife. All right. What? You know, like... on. You know what I mean? Like cleaning. His like not really, nails. not really looking at, at uh, Arthur. Just kind of looking at his nails, talking the entire time. All right. Well, uh, Arthur messages you, Eugene, saying, "Okay, what's up? Where are you guys?" Uh, you know, we're just we're just chilling. We're um out. Uh, oh, where have we wound up? At the pizza place, still is it? eating. Yeah, we're probably still at the pizza place. We're at the we're at we're at the pizza place, having pizza. With the with the dudes, um, though, so, uh, we can be not with the dudes. Should not be with the dudes. Um, he's like, all right, yeah, meet me. Meet me at the student store. Hey, right. and I. We go in, Doc. Uh, what? Yes, huh? Hello. Student store. Meet Arthur. Store. Arthur. Yes, yes, we, we are doing that. Mm -hmm. okay, I need mm -hmm. to keep an eye on you. You need some supervision today. Oh, uh, we're all good. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so we go to the student store. All right. You go to the student store. Uh, Arthur beckons you into the back, and the guy mm -hmm. working the front just like shrugs. Uh, and lets you guys in. And you guys are sitting, uh, <laughs> like right next to, uh, walk in fridge, walk in freezer. <laughs> um, and uh, he's for like the, the cold drinks that go into, uh, the, the cold. Dang, we got a nice store. And, uh, he goes, <laughs> okay, guys, what happened? Okay, so Bad. he's. Yeah, I yes. got bad, bad, bad. I got bad. I got bad from Raylan. Oh, great! Did he tell you about <laughs> about uh about Frank? Well, 
He said something bad happened, and I don't think he said it was Frank, but I can kind of assume. I said it was Frank. I said I watched Frank get his mouth sewn oh, shut yeah. with an invisible yeah. needle. So we all saw that. We're not going to say it, because mm. Doc's mm. kind of freaking out about it. Mm. So we're mm. just going to move swiftly past to the point. Um, look, uh, we went in there for a meeting. Okay, we were invited. We got a, you know, a note to our dorm. And, well, <laughs> Raylan goes in with, you know, you know, verbal guns blazing, asking questions, trying to, you know, act like he has anything more to bargain with than whatever he can steal off my pallet of Pocky in the, in the dorm. Um, and so... I'm just simply, let me just cut to the chase. Circus, you've been here for a while. You know the the whole song and dance of that, right? Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Was, so, yeah. Yep. I know I, the moment I started doing my own looking into and causing my own trouble, he did the same thing to me, pulled me into the office and told me to... St- to not look into the office, not look into the circus specifically, which is what I assume he okay. told you guys to do. Okay, yeah, that's what he was trying to tell us to do. And Raylan, you know, pulled a Raylan, and I suspect he's going to. Yeah, you, did you? He, he said he was going to go. You know, meet you up, up with you for lunch. Um. Yeah. What's the? Is he planning to pull a Raylan? Yeah, he again? still wants to mess with it. Of course. Yeah, he I had a feeling. Okay, so here's my question to you. Um. We got a hypothetical, you know, thing from a question I managed to get in between, you know, the chaos uh, that perhaps, you know, maybe the circus has been sacrificing kids. Mm hmm. He did say that. Yep. Yeah. So I just wanted to check with you to kind of ascertain the you know the situation more more information um because i sure am not going to be able to get it out of the headmaster um do you notice anybody just you know because you keep you keep your eyes and ears out for everything um do you notice anybody going missing during the circus um he looks at the two of you and goes i give him a wave uh, he goes oh, okay I didn't I didn't did say he fucking lie to me to Raylan oh oh, oh shit oh, did he lie to Raylan um and he goes no one has gone missing I'll f- be straightforward with that but uh every kid a lot of kids pardon me a lot of kids get pulled to oh. join the circus when they come in. Oh, they're uh, fucking dead. It's a very oh. inviting atmosphere. That they're they're very nice people. At least they seem to be very nice. They um, fucking die when they leave. Oh, the oh my god! I see. And uh, every one of them has sort of been a little different after the tryouts the ones who join are uh pretty (sighs) something's up and and they always have skills that they didn't have when they were a student that's Um, very strange and the ones who don't succeed always are i don't know just something's wrong with them they still make it through the rest of school um, they almost seem more, I don't know, boring. Uh, uh-huh. Like something's been taken from them? I, maybe? Uh, uh-huh. I... Because it wasn't death, and they're still kind of doing their thing, and I was specifically asked not to mess with the circus, um, I don't, I don't touch it. Uh, I just... I just let it happen because it's the best I can think of doing and keeping my own self safe and sane. Okay. Um, 
Mm, mm, mm. So that's how the circus gets new members. They recruit from school. This school. Well, this school right here. I... Partially, possibly, a piece of it, but not the full picture. Yeah, that not everyone there are, are kids from this school, or else that all the new people for the last few years would have just only been kids from this school, and, and it hasn't been true. Have you seen recruits who have been recruited by the school later in later years of circus? I know you've only been here a few years, but just yes. curious. Yes, I have. You have? Okay, and that's then that's then when they have the new skills and abilities. You ever um, get to chat with them? No, they they don't okay. uh, seem to remember me very well. They're very entrenched in the culture. Uh, <laughs> almost sounded like you, uh, you said something else there. <laughs> yes, that's that's how puns work, Doc. Um, yes. Okay. Um, Sorry, just okay, a little nice. on edge, lot on edge, a bit on edge. Yep, I, some I degree it. of on edge. Is there something it, we can get saw something for him? Do you mm -hmm, need... Mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. we need to, like... Doc's knees tapping frantically. Doc? Okay, just, okay. Just so start that's, tapping my phone. That's all I needed to know. From you at least okay. um i'm gonna For go him i don't know he could see the school psychiatrist maybe we have one of those so there's a school psychiatrist <laughs> uh yeah you I mean guys, it's, it makes sense, very but busy. Like, wow that just it never occurred to are me. they are um, they open on weekends could i go right guys, like literally right were, after this meeting at this you guys moment? were actually told there are school counselors like a while no, ago yeah. it just i know it like, slips yeah. yeah yeah you know. uh, in in canon doc forgot that instantly okay <laughs> oh yeah uh don't goes, need to go yeah. no, you need to remember I, I mean i i haven't been myself been a bit too busy but yes you can uh they're in the admin building and they're definitely not using uh, mind powers to make people different in strange and unique ways. I don't know. Anything's possible. This school, I've I've never magic exists. It's I've fucking never wild. Heard anything weird from the counselor specifically? Uh, mm, right. Good. Okay. Fine. Probably safe. All right. I'll yeah. try it. I mean, worst oh, thing yeah. that happens, my brain gets more messed up. Is that even possible at this moment? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. We'll find out. Let's go do it. Yeah, and Doc gets up. So and I'm starts, take... starts leaving. <laughs> Oh, here, uh, I gotta run after him. Um, so, you know, oh. thanks for the helpful info, um, Arthur. I'm gonna go... I know I'm sure you don't quite agree with this, but I'm gonna go leverage some other connections, <laughs> see if I can get a bit more of a complete picture of this from people who might be delving into the darker side of things around here. Um, <clears throat> yeah. and, and um, and as, I as don't you know said, how much they'll be able to help you, Eugene, but... Oh yeah, probably not. I'm just gonna pitch it to Sinclair and see what he gives me. Um, and Doc is almost nothing. out the door, and then he realizes, and then he suddenly starts, and he turns around, and he rushes back, and he's like, "Oh my God, Arthur, I'm so sorry. I'm very rude of me. I completely forgot. Uh, thank you for the information and uh, help, and also the fact that there's a psychiatrist based on campus. Okay, now actually going now. Bye." And then Doc leaves again. I'm gonna make sure he gets there. Uh, thanks. Um, talk to you later, bro. Okay. Bro, what? The... Okay. Yeah. Sorry. See, that just see, see you, Eugene. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> Francis. <laughs> That's me. Are you doing now anything after Now it's time for his father your, figure. Your workouts, probably. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Where's the other guy? His father figure. What's his name? Um. Terry. Terry. No, where's Terry? Terry. 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 We talked to Arthur. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, are you, you've done your workout. Is there anything you're, you're actively looking out, uh, now? No. Are you still just spending your Saturday? Actually, like, relax. Am I gonna go, so get relaxing. some food? Alright, cool. Um, Doc. Yes, hello. Hi. You go to the school counselors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Eugene, you go elsewhere, correct? I make sure he gets there and then I go elsewhere. How, Hi, Eugene. How, uh, thanks for help and talk and Arthur contact. How get there? Um, do you make sure? I want to be very clear on this for for both of your cases. Do you bring <laughs> him to the front of the admin building, or do you walk him into the counselor's I office? I walk him into the counselor's office. All right. Oh, when you guys, Eugene, I'm okay, everything's fine. I can I'm on myself. Uh, when you guys come in, the secretary is uh, is like, oh, uh, hey guys, welcome back. I assume you don't have another summons. Oh God, no! Please, no! Nope, definitely not. Mm -mm. We're here to okay. we're here to for Doc to see the counselors. Oh yeah. Um, um sure. So, 
they're going to be on the left uh, over that way. Just go through that door. And she, she points to one of the larger doors uh, going out of the, the opening hall. Uh, go through that door. Go all the way to the end. And then there should be another desk there. And uh, a lady will help you, you know, get set up uh, if there are any Perfect. counseling appointments available. Mm, Maybe, yes. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you very thank. Mm-hmm. Thanks, S. There we go. Um, and then Doc turns around and goes in the direction on, that she pointed. Let's get you to a chair <laughs> to sit and talk to somebody. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, sitting's fine, but also I kind of want to be moving. Kind of want to be, you know, you know, little, little bit of nervous energy at the moment. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, have you tried taking a deep breath? Uh, Doc starts to take a deep breath and then succeeds in taking a single deep breath. Okay. And then, then another. Okay. Ready? In. I, I try to. I try to do it with him. <laughs> <sighs> okay. All right, that that's a bit better. Um, yeah, just you know, it doesn't need to be the whole you know, get you right better right quick. Just just settle it for a minute. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just let the person know what's yeah. what. Yeah, good. That good. What should I tell? Probably not everything. Definitely not everything. You seen some stuff, and you oh, honestly, man, I. I don't know, man. Just okay, you might as well it. just give him the I'll whole. Just it. wing it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Doctor, patient confidentiality and all that. Definitely, this probably exists yeah. in that school too. You know, they all gotta right. be compliant with the laws. Yeah, definitely. Laws matter here. I can see that. I believe that. All right. Um. Cool. Thanks, Eugene. Uh, I think I can manage to make it in for now. Um. But thanks. Thanks for all the help. I really appreciate it. Anytime. Sort of, yeah, things happening. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, Eugene, you leave. I assume. Yes. Doc, <laughs> do you continue to the therapist's office? Uh, yeah, Doc, Doc will. Uh, did he already make the appointment? Do they have a slot open for today? Uh, well, you, you, I assume Eugene left after, like, you were given directions. I, you, I uh. didn't say you walked over there. So. Uh, you have not walked over there just yet. Mm-hmm. So do you, uh, do you continue to the, uh, uh, do you continue to the oh boy. therapist okay. do you actually follow and continue to the therapist's office or do you uh like fuck off the moment Eugene's out of out of sight? No, I'll continue. To... To... Okay. I'll continue to the therapist's Good. office. Good. <laughs> um, yeah. Alright. Uh so you turn to the left, you go through the doors, you go to the end of the hallway, and there is another uh Did I say lady earlier? I guess I'm gonna commit. It's gonna make it a man. Um, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna, uh, uh, say it's a man now. Sure. Um, there's a gentleman there who's like, ah, hello, uh, student, I assume? Yeah, uh, yes, I attend school here. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, and I, are you need help today? Help? Yes, would be great. All right, yeah. Uh, we have, we definitely have, uh... Uh, we definitely have uh, counseling slots open. Uh, do you feel mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. it's it's urgent, or do you want to set it up for a different day? Oh, I um, I don't know. It's I. It's something I'm dealing with that came out of a thing recently. So like that's kind of urgent, right? Sort of maybe. Yes, yes. Do you have a slot for today? Set up. Uh, he goes. Oh, we're we're pretty open. We we have a lot of counselors, uh, but. I, I, well, that's good. Between you and me, I don't think the word gets out with the student body as as well as it should. Uh, so sadly, we're we're less busy than I'd like. Mm, okay. Uh, Why do you um, think that is? I don't know. You think free mental health care, but high schoolers, I don't know if they know how important their mental health is. So it's um, uh, pretty important. All right, and he. Uh, 
he says, okay, just go down this hallway, uh, and it's going to be that door on the right. Um, and it is <laughs> not Mr. Freud. Not Mr. Freud. Got to find a different name. <laughs> God damn it, Devin. Uh, Mr. Fitz. Mr. Young. Sure. <laughs> no, Mr. No, Young wrote. Yeah, why not? It's Mr. Young. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> I certainly hope it's not Mr. Freud. Uh, <laughs> oh, we have we have enough immortal ageless beings in this. Don't don't make Freud immortal in your <laughs> is, his, is his office next to Kevorkian's? Oh, he's so fucking funny. All right, now I'll do Fitzgerald one on. Uh, okay. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Fitzgerald down down that mm-hmm. way. The Fitz, <laughs> as his friends call him. <laughs> um, mm. We're pestering students. <laughs> Uh, all right. I assume you make it down the hallway. You, you come in. I do. The, you knock on the door, and uh, you hear a man's voice behind it. Ah, oh, yes, come in, come in, student. Oh, uh, all right, just, just through here? Yes, yes. Okay, um, and then Doc, uh, sort of opens the door and peeks his head in. Uh, the, <laughs> the room is completely dark. Uh, oh, and that's not there's good. a man just, just sitting in an armchair. And that's goes, not good. Turn, turn the light as you come in, please. Oh, Why uh, is he sitting in you... the dark? That was the question I was about to ask. Do you uh, <laughs> like to sit in the dark? Oh, I, I like for it to be dark when I'm thinking. With less distractions. Oh, oh I no. kind of get that, actually. No, yeah, that makes sense. No. No. Okay, um... Cool. It's well, uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, oh, wrong. Uh, nice to meet that. you too. What? What's your name? Uh, Doc. Ah, yes, Doc. Uh, my name is Mister Fitzgerald. Um, I <laughs> am one of the counselors here. You know, I I am a, a I have a bachelor's in psychology. You can trust me. Uh, mm, I... mm. <laughs> Does he say that? I have to roll intelligence to know how freaked out Doc. <laughs> <laughs> He's, does he say that, Devin? <laughs> yes, why not? Fuck, okay. Oh no. Um. Oh no. Doc looks. Doc, the duck can't hide it on his face. He looks like visibly shaken by this news. Um. He goes, I'm just kidding. I have a PhD. Um. Oh, I guess you're Doc too then. <laughs> it's from the That's University a... of Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got why? my degree from Columbia. <laughs> oh no. No, like the college? Uh, no, the country. <laughs> <laughs> um and he oh, goes, And as you can get a better look at the room, uh the walls are more bookshelf than wall with uh lots of like Oh, you can trust him. Philosophy and psychology. Mm-hmm. Uh Where's the Stormlight archive? Um no... That's not a philosophy or psychology. It's kind of a philosophy book. It's not a psychology. It's kind of a psychology book. God it's damn. definitely a psychology book. Lots um, of mental health in there. All right. Uh, and he goes, well, you could sit down right here. And there's another armchair next to him. Very, very pluff and, and, and cushy. Doc sort of hesitantly takes a seat. I get rid of Arthur's theme now that you're done talking to him. And go over to here for now. Uh, no. You have a good psychologist theme? Uh, I don't think so. Really. It's just through the fire and the flames by Dragon Force. Um, <laughs> that would be my theme as a psychologist. But... <laughs> uh, why not? Let's do one of the sleep songs. It's very peaceful. All right. Uh, he he puts on a song that's just this song. Oh. Uh, and he's like, oh, oh, uh, right. some music. Is this for like a, a mindfulness thing or? Yeah, yeah, definitely that. Um, okay. He sits Should down. <laughs> oh, no. He sits down oh, in, in his chair across from you and goes, "So, what seems to be the uh, the matter today, Doc?" Well, um, I watched a friend make a mistake, and it had pretty severe consequences for him. I'm just sort of friend? processing. Um, two friends technically made the mistake. Um, Uh, um, But one of them fared the worst of the consequences. Like a broken bone? No. Um. 
you know about the school? <laughs> Who hired this year? More. Well, um, I don't know. I don't. Doc is uh, is going to attempt to lie here. I don't entirely trust my eyes with what I see happened, but um, um. it was it was something <laughs> very strange that that happened to him. Um, I'm sorry. What? Uh, what do you mean by you don't trust your eyes? Uh, <laughs> gentlemen. Uh, well, primarily I mean the fact that I, um, mm. <laughs> Let's, uh, Duck's, Duck's very hesitant. He's, he's thinking of Eugene's advice that, yeah, you can probably tell him whatever. Um, but he also doesn't want to be seen as crazy by this guy. Um, and he can't think of a way to describe this that isn't crazy. Um. I don't know, I, um. So, basically, um, some figure of authority told one of my friends to shut up. Um, except he didn't tell him, he sort of forced him to shut up. That's not, I mean, you should report if there's a teacher. What do you um, think this is, man? <laughs> um, is this not a report of the place I would go to report this? Should I call someone? I, well, I I mean, I'm one yeah, one. I can. Are you, you a mandated report? I, you, yes, I can do that. Uh, I just sort of kind of surprised you came here before, like, I don't know, telling uh, the secretary. Um, He's in she, on it. She, well, she sort of seemed it. like she already knew. Ah. Or or suspected that this kind of thing happens. Are you? Uh, huh. Are, are you sure this is happening? Um. I mean, I I watched my friend be violently shut up in front of me. Um. I'm not sure if I should tell you who did it. Um. But. It was a figure of authority on campus. I can tell you that. All right. Um, well, that that does sound like a hard thing to cope with, uh, w whether or not yeah. it is a delusion. Um, uh, oh, delusion. What does that mean? I mean, that's like, hmm, how do I say this? How do you say that's a very strange we'll thing. Uh, for I will be contacting the board. <laughs> uh, for a student to be saying in this sort of area, um, and to say that, like, so far as like the school secretary is is in on it, it sounds like. Uh, oh no! I, of... I shouldn't say that she was in on it. I, I'm just saying that she she understood that the meeting we had with that authority authority figure did not go well for us. You know, we we sort of looked all a bit like you know kind of traumatized maybe afterwards. It was me and three other friends, so I, I, I do know. have other people involved in this. I mean, maybe you were all traumatized. Right. I don't know about anybody else. <laughs> um. Hmm. Well, I just, I, I, and I do believe you, Doc. Uh, uh huh. But it, it does sound like a very far fetched situation. That an authority figure would abuse their power? I mean, and for you to come here instead of, and, and for the secretary to just be fine with it. Man, uh, I'm really glad I didn't go here, because apparently here. the only job of the counselor is to gaslight the students. <laughs> yeah, this is gaslight the shit out of Doc. What the fuck? Um, Doc needs to roll psychology to see if he gets gaslit. <laughs> um, alright. Well, I'm gonna have to call you the stove because of all the gaslighting <laughs> going on. Uh, well, um... That's pretty good. A, a I'm of sorry, authority. Doc, that this happened to you, but God, this sounds like bullshit. <laughs> uh, a figure of authority doing something bad is 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 very harmful to a young sort of teenage mind. Oh, um, I mean, it wasn't like any kind of like uh, you know uh, uh, that kind of abuse. It was just he he forcibly shut up my friend with a violent action. That's yeah, I think the best way to describe it. 
Oh, I don't yes, know about that, that. That could be, uh, I mean, still very traumatizing to your, your young mind. I mean, yeah, it wasn't great. It was not great. All right. Uh, well, what do you think you could do uh, to, to help your, what do you normally do to help yourself in, in uh, uh, a stressful situation like this? I mean, I, I like reading. Um, I, though, God, I want to do something really stupid right now, but I'm not going to. Um, uh huh. Do it, man. Uh, he, Don't be a coward. He, he Full gets, send, Devin. He goes. Uh, he goes. All right. Well, let's have you uh, do some reading. And he gets one of the psychology books from his uh, case. Uh, and it looks How sort to of like... Gaslight Children. <laughs> uh, and it is... He opens it to a section and hands it to you. Uh, and it is How to Recognize Delusions of Conspiracy. Uh, oh my god that's, uh, oh dear real bad <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. okay this was a mistake this, like, yep. mm-hmm. he's going on the list he's going on the list <laughs> um this and was he's Dr. Like, Eric. maybe uh you know you could read a little bit to relax and i'll, I'll just I'll, I'll just be here and uh, do a bit of reading uh on my own as well maybe in this oh. safer environment we can we can read together uh-huh okay um i'll take a look through i suppose <clears throat> all right <laughs> roll intelligence <laughs> dog <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're able to read it, but some of the terms are a little above, uh, what you know directly. Uh, but you can get the gist that this is about, uh, people with schizophrenia, uh, generally having delusions that there is a, a grand conspiracy. So, so, so as I'm reading about that, I, uh, I, I, Duck sort of, like, raises his hand. He goes, uh, yes, Doc? Um... So this is about people with schizophrenia specifically. I've never been diagnosed with that. Yeah, you get a text. I I wasn't (laughs) suggesting that you had schizophrenia, Doc. I I just chose a piece of reading material uh, off my bookshelf. Ah, and... I see. Okay. Um, Well, this has been very helpful, but... uh, And I appreciate your time. But, um... I think I am good for today, but uh, thank you for the talk and the words that we spoke. Uh, and then Doc gets up and leaves. All right. Well, if you, you walk out the door, else, you can always come back to the uh, the therapist office, and we'll, we'll always help you out, Doc. Oh no! Oh, uh, thanks. I'll keep it in mind. And Doc gives a little like thumbs up, and then zoop out of the door. <laughs> As you, you walk the, out the door, you wait, fucking wait, 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 wait. right in the me asshole. Oh, what uh, the? F- Raylan, what the fuck wait, are you doing wait, here? Wait, fuckers. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, you shut the door, uh, and mm-hmm. and he comes up, shuts the door behind you, turns off the light, and uh, sits back down. Goes, lot of students with some weird delusions around here. God. I mean, <laughs> monsters. <laughs> There must Hello? be something in the water. Oh, oh no. Someone... <laughs> I'm fucking on the... Can I roll intelligence to be on the phone to the IRB for the fucking MX board to come take away this man's license to practice? Because, like, fuck, man. That, that was... You did not hear that. That was just, like, oh, okay. an, an aside, okay. basically. Aside. All right. So, so I walk Hi, out dog. of the room... Oh, uh, uh, hi, Raylan. Uh, I'm standing there flipping the the key in the air. Oh, key, yes. That is, should that be out about? I suppose he already knows about it. Yeah, I tuck it, I tuck it back in my pocket. What are you doing in the shrink's place? Oh, well, you know, Raylan, having a wait, time. Where, okay, where are the two of you? What do you? Where are you, Raylan? Are you... Probably right outside the door of the... Uh, of the therapist? Of the, of the ther- Not the therapist, okay. but of the counseling office. Okay, that makes more sense because oh, okay. I was like, I wasn't if you're in right the counseling outside, office. If you're right outside the no. door of the therapist, that doesn't make any sense. 
No, uh, but if no. you're just hanging in like the main area of the uh uh cuz like the first door that actually goes into the counseling office would be the the door that's all the way in the uh admin like the front of the admin building because yeah. it's the hallway okay mm-hmm. so you're just sitting in the middle of the admin building vibe pretty much flipping the key okay Oh, uh, hi, Raylan. Uh, so I'm here because uh, Eugene had the idea that it might be helpful for me to, you know, like talk to someone about what we saw. Don't, don't worry. I didn't. And then Doc lowers his voice a bit. I, I, I didn't, you know, didn't need any specific details. But uh, he just sort of. Called Did he try me. to gaslight you? He sort of just called me deluded. Yeah. Uh, and then yeah. he handed me a book on delusions with schizophrenia. I don't have schizophrenia. I thought so. As far as I know. You, you I don't know so? if you noticed. I don't know if you noticed, Doc. This place fucking sucks. There is, uh, an element of suck to it, to be certain. Did it help? Do you have schizophrenia? No, no, believe it or not, I do not have <laughs> delusions, and I actually did see my friend's mouth get stone shot right in front of my fucking eyes. Uh, he ah, says that funny, me too. So. Yeah, me, me too, funny how that works. Um, <sighs> so, yeah, no, uh, tremendously, tremendously unhelpful! Of course, I never say that to his face, because that's rude, but, like, he was... Yeah. You want a vibe? Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's do I've things. just been walking. Walk. Like I figured I'd find you. Everybody else is doing kind of normal stuff. I saw Eugene. I saw Francis. I didn't find you, so I came here. I figured oh, what's probably doing something stupid. That's what I do. Huh. Is the is talking to? Well, I mean, now I know it is, but like, uh, is oh is yeah, talking... talking to anybody at the school that's at a position of authority is a bad, a bad idea. Oh. I thought you got that by now. I'm starting to uh to come the to the secretary that looked at us. And was like, man, I'm sorry that the headmaster abuses you. I... Yeah, I nothing sort of... I can do about it, even though I... I work here. I sort of subtly tried to mention that as well, and that's when he really got in on the gaslighting. That was yeah. one of his main bits of evidence was that the yeah, secretary the, could possibly the, be you, involved. We can't it's not trust like people any in systems of power it. ever support each other in abuses. <laughs> never. No, never. We yeah. we just cannot trust a single adult that works at the school. I, Except for the uh, groundskeeper, he's cool. He seems he seems good. Uh, I am starting to come to that inevitable conclusion myself. All right. Well, I uh, I've been walking around trying to force an encounter with our third dimensional friend. So you want to do that with me? Uh, yeah, I'll walk. <laughs> I can walk. Sure. All right. Third dimensional um, friend. Last... Raylan just literally just fucking is walking in circles around the campus, not really doing anything. Last person, uh, Eugene. Oh, yeah. What are you uh, doing? Because you said you were doing something while Doc was seeing the, the therapist. Uh, you know, I'm just going around, you know, the usual Saturday stuff, chilling, wandering. You said you were going to ask Sinclair yeah, something? The... Oh, yeah, I was going to go ask Sinclair mm. something, yeah. Okay. So I, I head back to the dorms first before before the you know the the chillin um yeah. and i i knock on sinclair's door to see if he's there sinclair opens the door uh gives a big yawn and goes uh yeah what's what's up eugene hey dude um i uh i have a question yeah i assume it's another problem with the room no it's not a problem with the room um it's uh it's it's other stuff um right. that i what, thought what's up so I had been asking around after, um, you know, after a Sounds discussion. Like idea. <laughs> Generally, yeah. Um, you know, I wouldn't. <laughs> Worse here than other places. Um, but, uh, you know, now that I've started to narrow down who to ask about stuff and who not to ask about stuff, um, <laughs> I figured I'd come to you to ask this question. Uh, so you know the oh. circus. Yeah, what about it? Yeah, is there anything... Like... Y- you know what, Skirt? Let me just cut to the chase. Does anybody just... Nobody nobody dies at the circus, right? Uh, nobody dies at the circus. When they come new recruits and something happens, I don't... I, I don't know. I don't. Okay. Uh, I you'd have to. You will wait a few weeks before I'm allowed to say any more. Ironically, after the circus, but you know. 
Hmm. What? Um, so there's more to be said. Interesting. Oh no, I don't like that answer. I'm not saying this out loud. I'm just, I'm just thinking to myself. I don't <laughs> like that answer for many reasons. But no, oh, I haven't okay. seen kids killed at the circus. Okay, that's um, reassuring. Uh, cause um, yeah um, cool, um, cool. I think uh. I think that's it. Um, yeah, thanks. Thanks. Um, I'm gonna okay, go. You're welcome, Eugene. Go. Yeah. Chill or something. See you. See you around. And uh, he shuts his door. <laughs> Haste. Haste. Um, where did I put it? One second. Uh, you guys spend the rest of your Saturday uh, chilling out, maxing, and relaxing. Um, mm-hmm. And the rest of you just you know spend your Saturday. Uh, Sunday comes, and I'm gonna speed round one thing. Do we oh. have dreams when we have sanity shit happen to us? Oh yeah. I finally get a good dream. That's exciting. I always uh I always tend to do those in the next session so that I have a way to uh write them, but yes, technically you do, and I will do that now. Um Okay. Well, if we want to do it next session, we can. No, I can't. I, I, I can. I can do it now. Um the four of you go to sleep. Let me put on my fun little dream music. Mm, yes. Uh I believe it's this one. Uh, that's one of them. Uh, so the four of you go to sleep that night. And uh, awaken back up. in Because all oh. four of you lost sanity. Uh, <laughs> in a dark office with a wooden, ma- large wooden mahogany desk. Mahogany. Ah. Shit, this is the first time we've all been here together. In a chair. Uh, so far, no boss man. Is a, a a dark man who is who starts immediately with uh with well you've all been in Master Ivan's office now too. I finger guns him. He two. He just uh sort of he just almost looks disappointed with the finger guns. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Um. And goes, Doc, this is your first time. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Doc, this is our boy. I'm what, surprised what? you haven't been affected by the campus yet. You made it almost two months. That is a long time. Um, Where are we? We're here and there. And who um, are you? Are these questions, and then I turn to them, are these questions you guys have asked already? Nope, I haven't asked any questions. Um, I asked if he was God <laughs> once. And I said I would like to be. Yeah. Now, having That's all fair four of you here is inconvenient. So, oh? let me get back to my work and the four of you wake up. Wait, 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 wait! Yes, Raylan. Have I asked you about Jessica yet? I... Those things are beneath me, Raylan. What are you working okay. on? I doc. I mortal. He's matters. not gonna answer that. What? Why? What do you want with Ayabon? And how can we help you? Because I really don't like that guy. Oh. I. Ayabon has a store of knowledge that no other human has come close to. He has searched out horrible, wonderful things in that fucking library of his. Anything that might relate to Jessica in there? God damn it. Probably anything that might relate to anything you ever wanted to do, Raylan. All right, so we need you to get in that library. A god in that library. Don't care Raylan. about that, but sure. That is what I want. That is what yeah, I we've been over that for. I just need a, a small, a, a, a single peek 
into that treasure trove of tomes that he has. And I could do whatever I want. I could leave this earth and go be a spirit somewhere else, or I could become a god over mankind in days. Do you mean the library in the admin building? Like his personal office? Um, he, he goes to you, no, I... I had access to his office once, and no, it's not there. I don't know how hmm. to get in there. Where, where's the... you don't... has... I don't know where it is. Okay. Your friend over there is the only one who I've ever met in this direct way that has had access to it. He doesn't is he pointing at Frank? Of course he, he nods does. at Frank. Frank, what the fuck, dude? What? You didn't say anything? No. What happened? Don't worry about it. No. Damn it. No, 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 no. You're gonna tell us what happened, Frank. You're getting I'm pretty the same... curious. I bet no, you get the same no. information out of him as I got out of him, which is basically nothing. Yeah, well, he's gonna fucking tell us. <laughs> okay. Anyway, the four of you oh. aren't useful to me right now, so... Once again, See you, boss. please awake. Anything we should call you? Oh, okay. Anything you should call me? Yeah. You call me God? Name, like boss. That's what I want to be. Name um, oh, okay. That seems... Do you have a what about boss for now? Right now? If you want to call me boss, you can call me boss. Hi, right, boss. <laughs> Immediately right. regrets it. <laughs> oh, okay, well... <laughs> and the four of you awaken the next morning. Frank wakes up with my <laughs> fucking hands, <laughs> grabbing at his fucking throat. Oh, Jesus. Fucking... What do you know, asshole? <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, He's gonna uh, fucking uh, kill you, dude. He's a fucking football mm, player. Mm, 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 <laughs> You're a lanky conspiracy theory, kid. Devin. Oh, I know. Yeah. I'm gonna put one hand on his shoulder, and with my right hand, I'm going to... Haymaker his fucking gun. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, Francis, roll brawl. <gasps> no, I'm I I am f fucking using two luck for that. All right, or whatever it is. Yeah, um, it's luck, right? Yes. Okay. Luck. Hell yeah, yeah. I'm fucking or using the roll. Raylan, two you either roll that. roll brawl to counter or dodge to dodge. Hmm. I have a higher dodge. <laughs> Wait, I have advantage still. I have advantage still. I have one left. You do have advantage. Oh. Fuck. Uh, if I spend the six luck, if you, what does that do? If you spend the six luck, it would be equal. And let me go find my fucking massive chart that tells me how this works. Because I don't have combat memorized. No, I'll let him hit me. I, you, no, it's fine. Okay. Good. All right. Um... Oh wait, shit. Okay, I was gonna say because Ryan gave me advantage at like the beginning of the session, so I you won't, you won't. Up. Oh yeah, I forgot you have advantage too. No, I forgot. I just remember that now. It's uh, now all I have left is disadvantage. You, uh... if if you succeed on the dodge, dodge wins on a draw. So you can't. No, 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 I'll let I'll let him hit me. Okay, uh, Francis, you uh, hit. Raylan, uh, in the, in the tongue, in the stomach, uh, and Raylan, you Can are... I roll constitution to see how much it affects me? Uh, god, how much hit, how much hit points is an actual hit? I think it's, I think I have it right Uh, oh yeah, damage bonus. Um, no. Oh it's... no. Is it bad? Damage bonus. Uh... Did you just click on my character sheet? Hang on. Yes, I did. Um, okay, because I was going to say it just changed, and I was like, wait a minute, I didn't touch anything. <laughs> uh... Oh, yeah, I see it right there. <laughs> Roll 1d3 <laughs> plus 1d4, Francis. Holy shit. Oh, Francis, yeah. Uh, 
Uh, a three-sided die and a four, so one d three plus one d four. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the command. It's slash r. Slash right? r. Correct. Yeah. yeah. I always mix it up, and I'm All right. It's one d three plus one d four. Correct. Mm -hmm. And Raylan, you you should be a flop. One d three. Can I just type that out as literally just slash r one d three plus one d four? Yeah, with the space between the r and the uh, yeah one. Yeah. Okay. Raylan takes That's fine. Three I didn't damage. want to. Like, okay. Kill him anyway. It's not a How does that? Out. Uh, that's a bad... That's as bad as when I cut my, my hand. <laughs> it's a bad punch. Oh, 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 oh. I fucking sprawl out across the floor. I just fucking... You're an asshole, you know that? <sighs> Raylan, Frank, anything. what are you doing? I don't say anything and I just I walk just... out of the room. What? Good morning, what? What? What is what going miss? on? He wants to be obtuse and not share any of his information. He's so really, he's really. Punch him? He punched me. I tried to grab his throat. He is twice he your is, size. Is, why would you grab he's his? He's holding throat? stuff back from us. And and it's important. Everybody is holding stuff back from us. I'm sorry. Oh, you've been going to the same school for for <laughs> these two months as us, yeah, but right? Not not one of us. I mean, he's his own person, but... This is important! Oh. People are dying! That is true. Okay, well... And this asshole is walking around with knowledge and not sharing it with the rest of the group! This time around, nobody's dying, it seems. Oh, are so... you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure about that. I'm very sure about that. You don't think that what he knows might be important? I think he just stepped into a library, and to be perfectly honest with you, I don't think he's exactly the type to go and start looking around no, a library. No, but he stumbled into it. He can tell us how. What? If he decides to open his mouth... I have a strong feeling it's probably related to um, the uh, odd gentleman who probably... Doesn't like you very much, so. <clears throat> what about gentlemen? We're not Ibon. <laughs> Ibon. Okay. Lord. You wanna you wanna spill, Frank? There's nothing to spill. Oh, you're <laughs> such a fucking asshole. I just I get up and I fucking push past Frank and I walk out of the dorm. I'm surprised you're gonna push past. <laughs> of a man like me. Right. Yeah, I mean, you might not move you. or anything. But... <laughs> you just hurt your own shoulder. You're walking up rubbing yeah. your shoulder like, damn. <laughs> Pretty much. Shh, shh, shh. Shit. All right. Um... That could have gone better. Listen, Frank, is there any reason why you don't want to tell us about stuff? Or are you just a person, private person? Or do you not trust us? Like, what's going on? I'm not going to try to force anything out of you like, like Raylan, but I'm just curious. I did think the four of us were a team. Yeah. I didn't see anything, literally. You didn't see anything. He told me to turn around, and then I was in his study. Oh, so. Okay. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want me to do? No, that, that's that's it. I just yeah, I that makes literally sense. all that but... happened. Yeah. Okay. Um. Fair enough. Okay. Well. But when you get wo woken up by somebody with their hands around your throat, you're not really inclined to talk to them. So. That's fair. Yeah, That's, I mean, uh, yeah. he just brute forces his way through everything. Um, Raylan's a very passionate person. Yep. And, yeah, oh man, we're gonna, we gotta, uh, Frank, you, um, can you help keep an eye on him? Is that the circus is in town. I don't oh, need. I, I, yeah, no, I don't need it. I don't. I don't care if, if it if it takes Raylan off. I don't. I don't care at this point. I just. I have. If from it's two, guaranteed to. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Look, I have from two different sources, from the two sides of our sort of, you know, dipping into the weird stuff here. Mm -hmm. That nobody dies at the circus, but weird things happen. And then we have that wonderful little implication that from Ibon that people do very much die at that circus. Um, you can so, call it a threat. It was a threat. Yeah, so... Side note, don't go to the counseling office. 
Oh. I'm yeah, sorry. that was a miserable um, experience. Not well, your fault. Um, you had no way of knowing. Okay, well, um... Uh, look. Just... For the future, if it's, like, something mundane, please just... At least if Doc or I asks. Like, I'm not gonna tell you, you know, Ben to Raylan, but, like, if we're just trying to figure stuff out... Please, you know, keep us in the loop, but also, like... Nobody dies at the circus, and I think whatever Ibon's doing helps keep it that way. Whatever, you know, hmm. however scuffed his methods may be, it's keeping people alive here. So, mm -hmm. make sure Raylan doesn't dig too deep, because if he does, that will very likely change that. Mm -hmm. Um. So, yeah. Um, thanks. Uh, sorry you got, you know, the rude wake up. Uh, I don't know why I'm apologizing. I... <laughs> oh, man, this has been a past. This has been, been a weekend. A, it's, been a week. it's been a weekend. It's been really. <laughs> it's been I'd, a weekend. I'd, like, I'd like it to end. I'd like this week to end. Yeah. All right. You want to go get something to eat? I like food. <laughs> that is that is my only answer <laughs> to all these problems. You guys uh. um, spend the rest of your day fairly relaxed. Uh, Raylan, you come back uh, to your dorm room later in the day and find something that you were too distracted to find this morning mm. uh, under your bed where you were keeping the key. Uh, it is a note that has uh it's a handwritten note that uh says binding spell this might work uh hmm uh my mic was muted is my key still there the key is still there as well okay put that in the pocket and i take the note and i put it in the po what is it like it just says binding spell this might what is it uh and then the rest of the page is a a, a spell like a, a, a okay. full description for actions to take to bind a creature to this time area and and dimension and does it does uh, you know what are, are you trying to end the session yes this is where the session was Okay, then, uh, what time is it on Sunday? Uh, by when the time back? you get back, probably, like, right after lunch, so, like, one or two. Okay. I'm gonna spend the rest of my Sunday in the library pouring over this spell. Alright. But we can leave it there. And that is where the session ends. Uh, thank you all for coming. Hey. Thank you for those who watched. Uh, and I hope you had a very wonderful time playing. Yeah, that was great. Mm -hmm. That was